actually the heck with it. I'm just gonna <laughs> And I'll just keep telling jokes until they're ready. Is that cool with you guys? <laughs> By the way, I'm the Great Loop Ski, and I'll be doing a song later on, uh, just before some uh, Rob Dignagian fellows of some kind. Um, so, um, so you'll be seeing me later. This is just me killing time. Um, so basically, uh, do we have any Star Trek fans in the audience? <laughs> Are you, are you, are, do you consider yourselves to be Trekkers or Trekkies? Trekkies! Trekkies! See, the way I see it is that a Trekker is a Star Trek fan, and a Trekkie is someone who insists that you should be calling them a Trekker. <laughs> but nowadays, there's so many fandoms that being a Trekkie, so to speak, or a fanboy, but let's just say Trekkie for the sake of this bit, uh, is, this isn't just about Star Trek, uh, it's, just, it's also about Next Gen, DS9, Voyager, Enterprise, uh, Star Wars, Return of the Jedi, Empire Strikes Back, uh, the prequels, Babylon 5, Xena, Hercules, Farscape, Firefly, toy collecting, role playing games, comic books, it's just a big fan delirium out there. So, a lot of people are wandering around, they don't know if they're Trekkies or not, so uh, I came up with this little test to help them out. Um, things like, uh, if you ever showed up for jury duty in a Starfleet uniform, <laughs> you might be a Trekkie. Um, <laughs> If you consider full latex, spirit gum, and chain mail a business expense, <laughs> you might be a Trekkie. If you ever woke up uh, on a Sunday afternoon in full costume in a hotel lobby with a bottle of Jack Daniels in your hand, <laughs> well, in that case, you might be a Klingon, but uh, <laughs> you won't get into that right now. If you have a summer home in Roswell, <laughs> you might be a Trekkie. Uh, if, you, if you tell people you're the alien clone love child of Mulder and Scully, <laughs> that's next week on Jerry Springer, by the way, <laughs> you might be a Trekkie. If your eight-year-old owns less toys than you do, <laughs> you might be a Trekkie. If your dice have more sides than a Denny's menu, <laughs> If you refer to your wife and mother-in-law as the Duroc sisters, you might be a Trekkie. <laughs> Let's see, uh... <laughs> All the buzzing made me lose my place. <laughs> if any of your pets or children are named after Joss Whedon characters... <laughs> now, who made this mess here on the carpet? Winifred Kaylee Summers? Oh you clean up after your dog. Not far, do the dance of sadness. <laughs> you might be a Trekkie. If you ever try to talk your way out of a speeding ticket by explaining to the officer that he's just an illusion created by the Matrix. <laughs> but officer, I had to keep driving faster than 50 miles an hour or my car would explode. <laughs> you might be the most excellent Trekkie. <laughs> If you've ever attempted the Jedi mind trick at the drive through window. Yeah. That'll be 1327, sir. You won't be charging me for this food. <laughs> I won't be charging you for this food. And you'll throw in some extra french fries. I'll throw in some extra french fries. And you'll give me all 32 of the collectible Star Wars toys at once. <laughs> okay. Thank you, drive through. Thank you, drive through. <laughs> Thank you, drive through. <laughs> Or, if you've ever had that Jedi mind trick attempted on you at the drive through window, like this. That will be 1327, sir. These gift certificates will do fine. <laughs> no, they won't. <laughs> These gift certificates will do fine. No, they won't! What do you think you're waving your hand around, Ronald McDonald? Get the hell out of here! <laughs> you might be a Trekkie. If you ever put, got drunk at a party, put a lampshade on your head, and wandered around going, Danger, Will Robinson! Danger! Danger, Will Robinson! <laughs> You might be a Trekkie. <laughs> if you ever had your girlfriend dress up as Xena or your boyfriend dress up as...